Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to integrate remote MySQL database to Grafana. So let's start. So first of all, as you can see here, the prerequisites. So first of all, we need a AWS account with Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Okay. Now I'm going to use this Ubuntu 24.04 ATS. EC2 instance, then we need a basic knowledge about AWS services and Grafana. So as you know how to install Grafana, right? So as you can see, this is my AWS account. And as you can see here, here I have already launched my instance with the name MySQL and the state is running instance type. I have given this t2.medium, okay. Let's start. So first of all, to integrate remote MySQL database to Grafana, we need to install Grafana on Ubuntu. Okay. So as you can see here, I have already connected to my terminal. Okay. So let's install Grafana. So as you know how to install Grafana, so to installing, we need to follow the few steps. So first of all, we need to import the GPG keys used by the Grafana package. So I'm going to run this command to use GPG, import GPG keys. Then after that, the next step is we need to add the Grafana repository to the APT sources. So let's add the Grafana repository to the APT sources. So as you can see, it's done. Now let's clear the screen first. And now the next step is update the package list. So as you know how to update package list, so the command is sudo apt update. So it's done. Now the next step is let's install the Grafana. So to install Grafana, the, so the command is sudo apt install Grafana. So Y for S yes, for Y to install Grafana. So as you can see, it's installing Grafana. So wait a few seconds. Okay, it's done. Now after installing Grafana, let's start the server. And then let's enable the Grafana server. If you want to check the status, then you can run the command sudo systemctl status Grafana. As you can see, it's active running. That means we have successfully installed Grafana. Okay, it's done. Now, the next step is install MySQL on Ubuntu. So how to install MySQL? So first of all, let's update our system package. Before installing MySQL, let's access Grafana on browser. So as you know how to access, so first of all, you need to copy your instance IP, hit on browser, and the Grafana port number is 3000. As you can see the login page, it's loading. So first of all, it will ask your username and password. So Grafana username and password, the default username and password is admin and password also admin. After that here, it will ask, update your password for security reason. So, if you enter new password, after that confirm new password. So now I'm going to skip this step, but you need to reset your password. So as you can see, welcome to Grafana. This is the Grafana dashboard. Okay, data source, dashboard, and documentation, tutorials, community, and so on. Okay. That means we have successfully installed Grafana. Okay. Now after that, let's install MySQL. So for that, let's update the system package first using sudo apt update command. Then install the MySQL using following command. So let's install MySQL.
So as you can see, it's installing MySQL on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Okay, it's done. So we have successfully installed MySQL. If you want to check the status, then you can run the command sudo systemctl status MySQL and it's active running and as you can see the date and timing 15 seconds ago. Okay, that means we have successfully installed MySQL. Now it's time to move third step. So the third step is configure MySQL for remote access. So first of all here, open the MySQL configuration file using the following command. So let's open the configuration file of MySQL. And in this, as you can see, it's a bind address. We need to replace this bind address with 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. That means any IP address, right? That means any IP address for this 0.0.0.0. So let's save the file and exit. Okay. After changes any configuration file, we need to restart the server. So I'm going to run this restart command. And now let's check the status. It's active running. Okay. Let's clear the screen. It's done. Now, now that MySQL is set up for remote connection, so let's create a MySQL database which we will visualize and monitor. So first of all, log in into MySQL console. So how to log into MySQL console? So the command is sudo mysql hyphen u root. So let's log into MySQL console. Okay, so as you can see here, copyright Oracle is registered and so on. So type help and as you can see the MySQL, that means we are successfully logged into our MySQL. You can see welcome to the MySQL monitor. Okay, now let's create database using following command. So let's create the database. So my database name is sensor data. So the command is create database and your database name and colon. Sorry, same color. So as you can see, Q query, okay, one row affected, 0 0.0.1 second. Okay. That means our database is successfully created. Now switch to the newly created database. So how to switch? So the command is use in caps and your database name. So database change, that means now we have switched, successfully switched to this sensor data. Okay. Now, after that, let's create the table for the sensor readings. Okay. In this sensor database, we have created the table with the name sensor. We are, we are going to create the table with the name sensor readings. And in this table, we are going to add this data. First of all, int auto increment primary key that, right? Then date type, the time step, then float, temperature, float, humidity in float and location where care okay and timestamp in date way okay so let's create the table okay we have successfully created the table after that in the in this table which table sensor reading table in this table we are going to add some data right in this table so here is the data right so i'm going to add this data into this uh, sensor reading table you can see insert into sensor readings time step temperature humidity location values here okay so let's copy okay it's done as you can see record five duplicate zero where your files rows affected okay so it's done right if you want to check then you can run the command show data view all the database to see if your database is added or not then if you can run this command to check your database is added or not so i'm going to run this command so as you can see our database show database database 
here is our database right okay it's done now after that here you can see this will add some example sensor readings to the sensor readings table so with uh, each with the timestamp temperature humidity and location so now create a new user with the unique strong password so for that for sensor readings table we need to create a new user with password okay so how to create so the command is how to create user in mysql so for mysql the command is create user and your username then identify by and your password right this is my username and this is my password so i'm going to create a user so my username is first techniques and my password is devops so you need to remember this okay your username as well as password so it's done okay after that grant the new user first technique se select permission for the sensor database so we need to grant the permission so the command is grant select on sensor data dot star to first techniques okay it's done now flush privilege to ensure that the changes take effect then exit my sql okay so flush privilege okay and now let's exit to my sql so how to exit so enter uh, enter exit exit as you can see it will say bye okay it's done so we have successfully created database sensor data and in this database we have successfully created one table with the name sensor readings and in sensor readings we have added tables and then we have added data in this or row and columns okay now now the next step is configure the mysql database to grafana okay now let's go to the grafana so this is the grafana dashboard so first of all we need to add data source here you can see add your first data source so click on it and here search for mysql as you can see if i enter my you can see mysql data source for mysql database so select this mysql and let's scroll down after that here you can see connection host url host url means that means your instance public ip and colon then the port number is double three zero six so let's enter copy your public ip and remember the port number double three zero six double three zero six okay after that then enter a database name so our database name is sensor data right if you if i go to this as you can see create database sensor data so remember this sensor data and enter your sensor data okay after that username so as you can see here we have created our user and password here create user and password so our username is first techniques so let's enter your username as well as password so my password is devops okay then here enable this skip tls verification when enable skips verification of the mysql server tls certified chain and host name so i am going to enable this okay then keep as it is click on save and test mm, okay there is any network issue so let's enter again data so first of all instance ip and the port number is double three then sensor data username is first techniques and the password is devops right 
then enable this skip TLS verification. And now click on save and test. As you can see, database connection okay. There is a network show, so that's why. So now, as you can see, database connection okay. It's done. Now let's go to the home page. Now it's time to configure the MySQL database. Okay, so let's go to the import sorry, new dashboard. Click on add visualization. Select MySQL default. Okay, now here let's scroll down. Here as you can see the data set. So our database, select your database in this scroll down. So our database is sensor data. And in this data, we have created one table with the name sensor reading. So select table. So here only one table we have created sensor readings. And here column choose star. Because in this permission, you can see here we have added a star. Then after that, click on run query. And here I'm going to select this bar chart. So as you can see in bar chart, first of all, living room, then kitchen, then bedroom, bathroom, and office. As you can see the ID, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then temperature. 25.5 uh, in living room, 26 in kitchen, 25.8 in bedroom, 24.9 in bathroom, and 25.2 in office. Then humidity in living room, 50.2, then 49.8 in kitchen, 51 in bathroom, bedroom, and 52.3 in bathroom and 48.7 in office. That's the bar chart. If you want to check in stat, you can click on this stat also. Okay. If you want to change in gauge, then you can check in gauge. Okay. So this is the monitor or oh, integer. Sorry. Uh, integrate remote MySQL database to Grafana. So in this, first of all, we have successfully installed Grafana, then MySQL, and then after that here, we have uh, configured MySQL for remote access. Then after that here, we have successfully configured the MySQL database to Grafana. So that's it. So in this session, we have learned how to integrate remote MySQL database to Grafana. So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.